for sure. I'll, I haven't really done too much You're research about into that coconut one. Oil? Oh yeah, coconut oil. Or you want to talk about the uh, the differences in the potato chip aisle with uh, <laughs> the sunflower? Well, versus really, avocado versus really coconut. the only the only oil I think to cook with is either extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil. I think all the rest are in various degrees poison. Uh, it says here on this sheet, in this nutrition sheet, do not cook olive oil, do not cook coconut oil. Yeah, well, I, mean, because I don't know about avocado down? avocado oil. I'm not sure. I, I again, Yeah, you're probably right. It, it's probably, a, you know, a certain temperature to go uh, that like no more a minimum, than a a minimum temperature. temperature not to go yeah. over. Right, yeah, right. You're probably right on any wall. Right. Uh, true. But, but gosh, for God's sake, stay away from the vegetable oils. I mean, it's just, that's just rancid. Yeah. That's stuff. what I keep it's hearing just, is how bad these rancid oils get and how fast will, they go uh, poor and, and how effective it doesn't that. So what is happening at the, the fatty, like the fatty oil level in your side of your body? What's happening it, there? It can it can, it, it uh, consolidates. It, it uh, uh, these cooking oils with meat, it turns. It just it just turns your gut to concrete. I mean, it will just stop you up uh, bad. I mean, it just it just uh, creating a lot of inflammation, uh, tearing up your gut and all your natural. Uh, systems for absorption uh yeah just stay away and that's hard to do because you go you know you go through fast food place and your mcdonald's french fries are cooked with that and they're they're wonderful i mean they taste great you know they have probably the wrong salt on them too but you know every once in a while fine but don't don't do it every day if you can keep from it because it will yeah, get a lot you. of the people that are in, in in here watching us right now they're not thinking that way at all like they pretty much are, are just staying away from that stuff i'm pretty yeah, sure so like yeah we they might come into contact with it but most of these people are very cognizant of good, good. what's going in their system yeah and uh and salad dressings too or uh that's been a tough one for me personally because yeah, i got hard. one that's you want to make do. a healthy decision but then you want it yeah, to taste good right that's hard to do uh, vinegar is there like a vinegar and oil combination that would be healthy well you know a, a balsamic yeah you know maybe if you you know you're like you like you're like me i like my salad to taste good so at least a balsamic uh store bought you know just because i'm lazy but uh stay away from soy do not consume soy and it's in a lot of salad dressings uh it's in a lot it's even in supplements it's like in uh coq10 supplements oh no kidding uh, i didn't know yeah that. get a get a bottle of cunol <laughs> yeah soy that's Man. the main ingredient stay so many away pitfalls <laughs> stay away from soy it your body doesn't know what to do with it uh the only safe soy is maybe tofu or some fermented you know, Japanese or Chinese food that's been fermented with soy. I mean, it's fine, but just soy over the counter. It's just being pushed on us by the government because it's subsidized. Yeah. And it's just in everything. And it, I've been watching that. And that's something people... else. That's another. Uh, I think it's a nightshade. If I'm not mistaken, anyway, it also can affect your thyroid gland. It attacks it. So uh, here you can see from... this. I'm going to pull up the soybean chart right now. You yeah. can see that this is. And I totally... think soy is full of estrogen, so it it for men. <laughs> this, is, this is literally estrogen. Literally the price chart here of like might, I'm telling, might, I'm to... might turn you into a woman if you consume too much soy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the only thing you smoke it's too much cannabis only... and it can start to increase estrogen production as yeah. well yeah and yeah. Uh, yeah and plastics i'm sure everybody's plastics, yeah. trying to stay away from plastics let's talk about good toothpastes oh yeah yeah 
uh, toothpaste. Uh, stay away from fluoride. Do not, do not, that's another, even your dentist wants to give you a fluoride treatment, you know, oh yeah, it toughens up, up, toughens up your teeth, you know, and all this garbage. Uh, it's, it's toxic to your liver. Uh, if your, if your city utility puts fluoride in the water, don't drink it, filter it out or don't even don't consume it at all. Uh, buy, go go with bottled water with a BPA free or a glass bottle of water. Uh, uh, do not do not use toothpaste with fluoride. Uh, there's tons of toothpaste out there that I think do a good cleaning job. They taste good, and they don't have any fluoride or sodium lauryl sulfate or any sulfates. Um, and of course, again, that goes for shampoos and, um, whatever else, makeup, uh, whatever. Is he talking? So, um, I wanted to offer a alternative to coffee. So I mentioned this to SJ a while back. I, I tried to, uh, get Paul Wheaton on it as well. Um, this is ginseng and they're just small little bottles that you pierce the top and there's like an ounce or two, uh, inside the bottle. And I personally like this one. You can find it at your health food store and you just need one to, to get your uppity, but just like the salads that he was talking about earlier, it's acquired taste. Um, Another idea would to to be have a green tea droplet. And just add that to some water. That might wake you up. And I've also heard that just doing some push-ups will change your mindset. Ooh, we got somebody talking about calcifying your pineal gland. I guess that was off of the uh, fluoride conversation. Had you gotten to the collagen? that somebody mentioned earlier? Uh, well, we we're talking about peptides. And oh, am I interrupting I, something? I mentioned that uh, the only peptide I was taking was the collagen peptide. Um, so what about collagen vitamin pill form? Recommended or no? Uh, or don't have any advice? I, I take it in powder form mixed with water. I think it's more sorbable. Uh, why, I guess, why do I guess depending it? on the brand, I, I guess the pill form would be okay. Uh, I didn't, I, I, I was taking, I was taking it in pill form. I didn't notice any difference. I think uh, the required, the recommended dosage was three times if, with a meal. I didn't really notice anything. Uh, but however, with the powder, I do. So uh, maybe it's just the maybe it's just the brand. I don't know. But and switching, if people are interested in a get me up sort of thing, um, I add this maca root extract. Uh, it's pretty expensive stuff. You can find it online. Um, I buy it obviously in bulk format. Uh, the price has gone up since inflation is hit and stuff but uh this extract four to one you can get it uh crystallized much much less amount of it um and i i, I personally really enjoy this stuff add it to a smoothie maca root gives you energy um maybe it 